Hello, uglies, and welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby Boo. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for proud of myself. Darby, can I share a moment of pride? Proud of your boy. Oh, Tina Burner. You know what? I could believe she could cross over to Dragula. I forgot why I sang that all the time. <laughs> why I sang it like Ethel Merman. It's because of, of Tina, Tina Burner's cover. Yeah. Proud of your boy. And she could go on Dragula and sing, proud of your boo. Lay. There you go. So we all know, if we don't know, I've been sort of experimenting with having a job. And it's been really hard. Not going well. It's been really busy. Cause you know, I got emotions, I got hormones, I got all of this and that. It's the hormones. Today, I had an opportunity to go off on someone and I chose not to do that. So there's this woman that comes in. Her name is And You can't she... say her name? The, the editors can bleep it out. I anyway. already have such a hard time editing you because you start a phrase three or four times before you finish the phrase, <laughs> and now you're adding names. You know what I want to do? I'm sorry. You know what I want to do? <laughs> I want to put together a compilation because there's always comments of people being like, Darby interrupts Alexis all the time and it's so frustrating. No, you know what it is? She says the beginning of a phrase and then there's 10 seconds of silence and then she just goes, I'm and she exhales. I'm so, weaving a tail. So, well, right, but then you give up on the tail, which is fine, but then I jump in for your viewing pleasure. So people are always saying that I'm interrupting you. No, I'm not. It's this. So I, so I, I just think. <laughs> you interrupted my story. Listen. <sighs> <laughs> story along. I'm sorry, go Okay, ahead. listen. This woman comes in. She comes in like every other week to exchange stuff, which fine, whatever. Yeah. But she's really rude. Mm. She's very entitled. She's super fucking annoying. Yeah. And I've never really gotten on with her. I was checking someone out today and I hear like raised voices from over here. Mm. And I look at, there's like mirrors everywhere. And I look at the mirror and there's like angry body language. And I go, I was like, uh, I'll be right back. And I go over there and I was like, is everything okay over here? This one who I'm going to just start calling her this one. Sure. She's the one that annoys me. This one is like saying something, it doesn't matter. And then this other poor lady's like, I was just trying to walk past this lady and she started yelling at me. This one had her, her basket like onto the side, basically taking up the whole aisle. Yeah. So what I'm assuming happened is that someone tried to pass by, maybe she bumped, whatever. I don't know, I wasn't yeah. there. But all I know is one of them more than the other one was yelling in the bed. And this woman is in her 50s and that's being generous. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. And she wore sunglasses inside. That's it was already dark. I think I said something like, okay, stop. And then they passed. And then this one, the other one, not this one. The other one was like, while you're here, can I ask you where this is? And I was like, oh yeah, it's over there. Did you yell it at her? No, oh. she was chill. She was just kind of, I think, I assume, retaliating at this one. Believe women. I do believe women. And we so this it. one goes about her business. She comes up to me and she goes, you should rewind the cameras before you make assumptions. And I go, I didn't make any assumptions. And she goes, well, you should back up the cameras before you make assumptions. And I go, let me get a manager for you. And I walked off. Good job. I walked off. And then of course the manager comes, this one, guess what she says? not a fucking peep because she had a return. Yeah. So she knew she had to be nice. Proud of your girl. I hope she never comes in again. I and actually, I hope she does come in again and I'm just going to be nice as fuck. I'm going to give her nothing, but yeah. like what I have to for work. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you proud of me? I am. That's really exciting. Thank you. I'm learning. It's, I'm growing. I'm listen. realizing sometimes it is my fault. You know what I mean? But this time it wasn't. What did you say? Say it again. I said, I'm learning, I'm growing, and, I, and sometimes it is my fault. Yeah, did we get that on film? <laughs> Richard? Oh, I'm going to jerk I off to that <laughs> every night before I go to sleep. You have a tiny little lipstick fleck on one of your teeth first. Oh, that's blood. Well, speaking of blood, we're here to talk about the blue blade. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Richard, will you? I'm going to take that again. Yeah. Richard. Well, speaking of blood, we are here to talk about the Belay Brothers Dragula Season 5, Episode 2. Can you believe we're already two episodes in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I can. That's something you say when you're on episode like eight. I know. I know. Episode two, can you believe it? I, yeah. I, okay, this episode was filth centric. I gotta be honest, I had a little trouble watching it. I didn't watch it. I watched it twice, but I didn't watch certain parts of it. I made a mistake. Okay, it came out <laughs> It came out at midnight, which yeah. I think is like 10 o'clock our time, and I did gummies last night. Oh my god. And so I said to Curtis, I says, I says, Curtis, I says, why don't we watch Dragula? And he says, great idea. So we did. I couldn't handle it. No, I no, no. I couldn't handle it. it. It was too real. I haven't, I have thought things were gross before, but this season, there were moments, where I was just like, there were moments of gore and there were flashes of blood. Yeah. Well done oh, to yeah, everyone. But sing also Celine Dion around you. <laughs> You'll harm her again. She was at Katy Perry's show. Did you see that? She She's was. up and about. Yeah. Was she in a wheelchair. I don't know. She was seated. Well, the Boulets heard our call because we said we missed the skits last week. And we did get small. A tiny one, but yeah. we did get the beginning of a skit, and I didn't realize it until later on. Look, oh, they're, they're making the puppets, turning the puppets evil, so they'll come to life for the extermination. Oh, you know later. what? They were yes, they were doing the Chucky curse because I've been watching Chucky lately, this TV show. I really like it. There's a strike. You can't talk about it. No, no, no. The writer strike is over. Actor strike. Chucky is a SAG actor. Puppets are people too. I loved this. Yeah. I didn't recognize it obviously until yeah, I watched it the second the, time. And the, I was like, oh, a deep, a I deep love tease. It. I love their dumb skits. They're so stupid. I love it. We get back to the long table room and they're like, who do you think is coming back? Is it Satana or is, is it, it JK? JK? And everyone said, it's definitely Satana. Yeah. And they were right. They were right. In comes Satana. Now, anaphylactic. 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 That's what I said. Oh, God. She was so funny. She said, I'm not really excited for Satana to come back because she seems like a bitch and she was really mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. That was so funny. That's, oh my god. That was god. funny. <laughs> that would be what I would she's say. She's hilarious. She I'm, is hilarious. I'm getting good, good vibes from her. Good sound bites. Good, good sound, sound bites. bites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I guess, Boom. you know, in previous seasons, they would have to go to the runway. What are they called? The, um, Just the, like the stage, the stage or the runway to get the video the message. Feed. But now, they have a screen in the long, the long table, table room. room. Yeah. How they does that make Corner. You know, uh, 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 drag competition shows, I don't, it's fine. Do the same thing. I don't fucking care. Cool. If it's not broken, break it, you know? They find out that they are going to do a trash can children challenge. <laughs> that made me giggle because <laughs> yeah. the actual name of those cards is, is the garbage, garbage pale, pale kids. kids. Trash can children and they were very careful to say child or children and never say kid yeah. i loved that sometimes laws are funny yeah and to get around laws it's called a loophole and loopholes are fun because christians use them to do anal they find out also that they are about to drink some disgusting potion that's yes. like it's bad like and bad and bad G dumpster juice and the person who wins gets, gets to, to throw a curse tell a tubby what was it called Teletubby toilet? Teletubby. I did not understand why it was Teletubby and they never addressed it. Maybe it went along with like Garbage Pail Kids. I don't know. But how come they could say Teletubby but they couldn't say Garbage Pail Kids? What would you say instead of Teletubby? You'd say um, micro fat? <laughs> Tele like telescope, microscope. That's where it's going. Oh, oh yeah. I was thinking television. Chubby, so like chubby monitor fat, monitor chubs, monitor chubby. <laughs> oh, that makes me giggle. <laughs> if you drink the disgusting thing first, you Fastest, can yeah. put a curse, a curse on another contestant. So and they, they have, have to get, go do it. They no, have to get it. ready in a porta potty with no mirror, with no mirror, no only lights. poop, and they have to get fully ready, like get dressed. Now listen, only poop. I have spent some wonderful. Times in porta potties, but you know the boulets probably picked the most disgusting one, like fully used. You know, one time I was on a camping trip with my father. You remember him? Yeah. And we, we were, we, it was like a hike, and then there was a porta potty, but it was like Hot. up on. There was like a lattice underneath. I don't know. He went first, and he was like, "Son." He used to call me son back then because I, I was the light of his life. I was the light of his life. I was a bright, shining planet. And um, the sun's not a planet. Do you know that? Isn't it? Oh, it's a star. You love to learn. 
Thank you. Anyway, he said, that was fun because the wind was coming through the lattice and it was blowing up my butt. And I said, okay, I never and told I went you this, in. but your dad really did like to be rimmed. <laughs> he was really, he said, ooh, it tickles. So I did it and I, I I'm not gonna lie, it was nice. It was nice having a cool breeze. I love breezes. Yeah, also I'm so sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to feel connected to the episode so I also got ready in a porta potty. I mean, and I had it moved to your roof, so it's up there if you ever need it. Okay, you had me, cause you really do look like you got ready in porta potty, but I know that you didn't move shit to the roof. Oh no, I didn't, but I have a, I'm sponsored by a Cranes company. Cranes? Cranes. Can I tell you something that's really upsetting to me? Yeah. I love Cranes. <laughs> I think they are so interesting. Yeah. And when we lived in Chicago, our last place, we lived on the, what floor do we live on? Nine? <sighs> yeah, I, I, that was my instinct. And so we had like this great view of the city. One day, very casually, very normally, I said, oh my God, babe, look, there's a crane. That crane is lifting something onto that tall building. Come here and watch. Cause it's fascinating. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. And it's a city, there's stuff all around it. So it's like, how is it not gonna hurt somebody? Or maybe it will. He thought that was so fucking weird and funny. So now whenever we're together out in the world and there's a crane, he talks down to me like I'm a child and he'll go, look babe, it's a crane. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, come on. He doesn't have a lot. I know, and he does have to deal with me. Yeah. Okay, fine. He can have it. Oh, I also wanted to feel connected to this episode, so yeah. I took the liberty of getting us some of that dumpster juice. Okay, well, and I filled it in there. So I, I can thought tell we could it's really drink. warm. Well, I before we, we do that, though, JK returns. JK is JK says, that, JK, bitch. I'm back. Because they put an extra stein of garbage juice, and they were like, who's that for? And then JK comes back. I gotta be honest, fun. Yeah, okay. Here's the deal. This is just internet rumor, okay? I cannot back this up. Oh wait, you have tea? I mean, I have internet rumor. Okay. Do not know if this is true. Okay. Kind of hoping it is. There was a 12th monster, but what happened was they got so drunk, they missed their flight, I think twice. So the boulets said, don't bother coming. So they brought JK back because they really didn't need to eliminate anyone. And I think it's because they already filmed the TV talking for the next day because the next day they were like, we've already killed one person and the body is stinky. And then it cut to Orgotic going, yum. <laughs> Which <is> so scary. <laughs> so I think JK was brought back because someone got too drunk to show up. Which I have to say, is so funny. I mean, I feel so bad for them because, listen, we've all made mistakes. Yeah, but, but that is so If that's funny. true. I hope it's, it's true. If it's twice, um, oh wow, you just drank that garbage juice Oh, I so forgot casually. it's garbage juice. It tastes like coffee. Wow, you're just really sucking it down. You've had yummy, just yummy. worse things in your mouth. Worse people. <laughs> so JK comes back. They know that they're about to compete to send somebody to the fucking porta potty. I'm sorry. I don't care what your deal is with JK. That is not the time to bring it up. And oh, I know they're just yeah. moving the story along mm -hmm. and there's probably a producer that's like, keep it up, keep it up. But Cynthia chose that moment to be like, I don't think you should be here. Fuck you. I don't like you. <laughs> I was like, Cynthia, that is not a great idea. So they drink the slop and JK guess who wins? wins? JK. So of course, well, in true JK fashion, they do it in a very annoying way. Soliloquy. So they're, yeah, they're giving a, a long monologue, which honestly, I They loved. probably were told, yeah. But I love that. Again, JK said, I'm annoying, and they are living up to that, and I appreciate that. They're a person of their word, yeah. Yeah, so of course, they're like, Cynthia, you can go to the porta potty, you bitch. And I'm sorry to say, sorry to victim blame, it's kind of your fault, bitch. Yeah, but also. But also, yeah. And yeah. I am right, and thank you for saying that. But I like Cynthia Doll. Oh, I love, obsessed. Absolutely, deeply obsessed. Yeah. Okay, dark, twisted, but I was really happy it was her in the porta potty because I knew she'd just be screaming the whole time, and she <laughs> was. Yeah. Which was funny. Have you ever used a porta potty that's full? No. I mean, yeah, I'm sure I have. Like the mound of poop and pee pee is oh. coming out of the toilet. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I did that once at Special Olympics. <laughs> crazy give them new porta potties <laughs> i mean there was it's a special 
Oh, there was a line of porta potties, but there were just so many people. There was no organization, okay? Yeah. And so I just picked the one that no one was using, and clearly there was a reason. But I had already gone in, and I, so I was super embarrassed to come out immediately. So I just peed on the mound. Listen. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go. I do wanna say though, as much as I disagreed with Cynthia going off on JK because she was gonna get herself in a pickle, she did say when JK walked back in, I see Amazon is living up to their return policy. <laughs> That was funny. That, that made me laugh. killed me. <laughs> Cynthia, you stupid fucking bitch. Yeah. I love her. You know what? Let's just go to the... Um, Let's go to the, the stage. Fuck? What do they call the it? The floor show. Thank you. Let's go to the floor show. <laughs> so too. So too. First and foremost. Oh the my God. They what look incredible. The that was incredible. It was so good. You know, there are times I'm picking a wig to wear and I'm just filled with like a thankfulness of your talent and just how great you are at hair. But then I see other wigs and I go, oh, she's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have two guest judges. The first oh is Matthew my Lillard. Oh fucking God. I love Matthew Lillard. There is just something about him. If you are of a certain age, we could never explain it, but we've always wanted to fuck Matthew Lillard. I don't know what it is. It is Goofy Dick. Matthew Lillard is the epitome of Goofy Dick. He was Obvi in Scream. He was in He was in Freddy's. Scooby Doo. He He's was in, in Five Nights at Freddy's. He is in Five Nights at Freddy's. Did you watch that? I did. Oh, what'd you think? I had a good time. Yeah, me too. I fell asleep. So you didn't have a good time? I did have a good time. You love sleeping now. I'm such a voracious watcher of things, but I'm realizing that's why I gotta watch them all a million times because I fall asleep during everything. I fall asleep all the time. So when I rewatch, I see new pieces of shows that I'm like, oh yeah, I must have been asleep. Do you, do you ever want to go to a doctor? Or are you just like, you don't have insurance so you'll never go? Um. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. I was falling asleep for a joke. <laughs> <laughs> then I started laughing in the middle okay. of it. I do want to say though, I really appreciated Matthew Lillard being an ally. He wore a heart on his shirt and then a yeah. heart rainbow pin. And he was so into it. He was giving his opinion. He was talking about wanting to see more from your drag. And I believed him because he's an actor. Yeah. I appreciate allies that go extra hard. I think and it's And just charming. like seemed super excited to be there. I and... saw people on Twitter being like, like, shut up, Matthew Lillard, you don't know anything. But no. there is just something so heartwarming. <laughs> this is so well, the dark. Well, he was saying. But heartwarming to see, like, a straight man overdo it. That's nice. Well, I thought the critiques he was giving were, like... I thought they were informed. I thought they were informed as, like, this is what I would do as an actor, director. Like, these and are some things And clearly, they could... talked to... The judges talked to yeah. themselves. So, like, he was picking up on it. Yeah, yeah. I was so happy he was there. And then, of course, Land Insider. Land Insider looking so fucking good. We were supposed to do Fat Slut with him, but then he had to cancel. Weren't you so sad? Yeah, I was sad. I love Land Insider. Me too. I didn't love them on this episode, but we'll get into that. Oh. So, they are trash can children. They are trash can children. Now, if you didn't pick up on it, they are kind of, what do you call them? Cabbage Patch Kids looking. They're, They're like, trading cards of like Cabbage Patch Kids doing gross shit. And did you know that the guy who drew, invented the Garbage Pail Kids also drew that like iconic comic that's- Calvin like, and Hobbes? No, it's a mouse. The mouse- uh, Make Mickey Mouse? No, no, Nazis. The mouse. Oh, um, oh, um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's garbage. Spiegel mouse or something. That's like, garbage kids. Oh, that's cool. garbage kids. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. What a Spiegel left mouse? turn. Spiegel, Beagle mouse or whatever. Spiegelman is his name. I forget the name. I think it's just called Mouse. M A U S. Oh yeah, maybe. Is that right? Maybe. Google it. At first we had Blackberry and she was mm. cute. Garbage she was cute. kid. At first I thought, oh, she looks really cute. And then I saw like the bulby like boils. I liked that the boils were all over her legs, all over her face. And then her hair even had boils. Yeah. That's That's boil so boil. Cute. Boy oh boil. I loved this. Yeah, it was cute. It was super cute. I didn't see a lot of her ripping the boils open, which I, I'm assuming was a part of it. Because they also had to do like they an had to do something gross. Filth. Yeah. On the floor show. I gotta be honest, I did look away a lot. I'm, okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. So it came out last night. I was able to watch it this morning when I was eating breakfast and what? at lunch. Honestly, I didn't finish my lunch. That's how grossed out I got. Yeah. And you know I love to eat food. That's yeah. why I'm hungry. Oh, look at that. 
That's how it works. Uh, learning and growing together. Okay, uh -huh. speaking of filth. Okay. I go to a sandwich shop every day because it's close and it's quick. And the people there know me and they're really nice. And sometimes they'll like throw me a free chips or a free drink or whatever. Extra bread. They know me. I know them. I know the code to the bathroom automatically. Yeah, so of course. the other day I went to the bathroom. I typed in the code. The main guy that always helps me out was in there and he was sitting down. And I was like, you walked in. Well, he didn't lock the door. He didn't lock the door. That's the problem. If you're going to poop. That's the first thing you do. That's why I'm team no knock, but I felt I did feel bad. But the next day I went, he was chill and acting like it didn't happen. I didn't see anything too filthy. But now do you but see I have him seen on the this, him sitting every on the... time he makes your sandwich? No. I will. And I get a wrap because it's healthier. <laughs> Good. Oh. Then we had Orgotic. Oh okay. my god. This, before they even did anything, I was like... I know. Uh, I... So their head was a hemorrhoid, and they also had a hemorrhoid coming out of their butt. Because I don't know if you know that's where they go. Have you ever had a hemorrhoid? No. Me neither. I haven't either, and I've done some crazy stuff to my butt, and I, I also pooped a lot. Yeah, I sit on the toilet for way longer than I need to. Yeah. God willing, fingers crossed. Yeah. I've never had an orgotic hemorrhoid. Me neither. But now I've seen one, and gee, wow. Well, they don't look like that. They're smaller. Oh, really? But they feel that big. So I've heard. I'm so, so I've heard. I, this was so gross, but like, well done. Yeah, or it was, exotic. there was something really funny when they were doing the judging. Every now and then, Orgotic would suck in and out. I don't know if that was their tongue. I think they were sticking their tongue out. Like, blah, 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 blah. It was so gross. I love and respect your drag. I'm so scared of it. Okay, I gotta say, in the long table room. Yeah, they are very attractive. Sorry to be an old dirty lady. Yeah, that was me last week. They're very attractive. Yeah, they're very attractive. Yeah. But also terrifying, you which know, is Do you know eternal. who I found myself attracted to this, this episode? Matthew Lillard. Well, yeah, obviously. JK. I could see that. I was like, there's something about that confidence. That misguided confidence. And you're annoying. I am or they are? Yes. I did agree though with the judges that yes, it was great. It did feel a little piecemeal. Like I didn't fully understand why everything else looked the way it did. Yeah, like, I, I was too loved scared to, to look pus. directly at it. But I mean, it was cool as fuck. I mean, fuck me. And I love that the shape was a garbage pail kid's shape. Head. It was. Well, speaking of you being horny, up next, J.K. Were they come? Yeah, they were jerking off. Hell they had a yeah. muscular arm from jerking off. That is so funny to that me. That is so funny. I don't understand the deep hatred for JK by the I other contestants. Don't, I just don't. I don't either. I mean, I said it last week. I do see kind of, you know. What they were saying with the cardboard. Well, and in real life, having to deal with how annoying they are. True. You know, people who are super annoying in real life don't turn it off. <laughs> so yeah. we're only seeing a snippet. So I'm sure. And I would have, you're I'd probably be being asked to like. Go big. Uh, yeah. Or or die. I really enjoyed this. I don't fucking care. It wasn't the best, but it certainly was safe. And I, it was funny. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Come. It, thank you. Then we had Onyx on Dick. Oh, I do want to say thank you to everyone who educated me on their name. So like on X, on Dicks. Like on Ecstasy, on Dicks. I saw that too. And yes, sure. But why? There's two, there's separate things. I was thinking that, like, on this, well, no. on that. No, because you, you, sometimes you do X when you do sex. You can't stay hard when you do X. Well, you can't. Oh. Wait, do you get hard on... Do you get but hard on But also, X? if you're the one on X and you're on dicks, you don't have to be hard. You just have to be on dicks. Oh, that's true. I once... Don't do drugs. Don't. I've never done them in my life. I dated a drug dealer in St. Louis. Well, he wasn't officially a drug dealer, but he just always had a lot of drugs. <laughs> anyway, so... He dealt in drugs. He, exactly. The first time I ever did ecstasy, again, do not do it. I'm serious. Yeah. It'll fuck you up. I know. I've never done it. We were watching Across the Universe. Oh, And God. having so much anal. Like, too much, probably. I was on cloud nine. I mean, until the next day and then the following and week. And then you were It orgotic. destroys you for yeah. like a week. It's horrible. Don't do it. I've never done it, so I can't tell you. But if you're going to watch Across the Universe, it's really fun. <laughs> I like that Onyx's look... Onyx's. I like that Onyx's look was very clearly... Garbage, garbage pail. Garbage pail. Or, I'm sorry. 
trash, trash can, can child. child. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. But I agree. I don't... Un whose leg is that? Yeah, I thought, well, when it came out, I would have liked it if the, the crutch was on the leg. Maybe they, like, tried to do it and it didn't work and they ripped their... I don't know. So it did make it not make sense. But I, I still I don't, liked it. I don't know who said it, but they were like, if you ripped someone else's leg off, since you have two legs, why did you put your other skate on their leg? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so funny. I gotta say, though, I love their paint. I think they have a beautiful drag face. Yeah. I would love to see them in a different competition. I don't know the Dragulas for them, but uh, I think they're beautiful and I love their style. Glow up. Up next, we had Throb Zombie. Throb Zombie. This, with this was ice cream scooper. Exactly garbage pail yeah, kids. Garbage pail kids. Scooping for out sure. their tummy, eating the tum tum. Perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. I loved every little detail, every little stone. I was so impressed. He's really impressing me. There's one, 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 one to watch. Four. Anaphylactic. Bless her heart. I didn't quite understand it. I didn't either, but the worst part was her reveal. Her reveal messing up. When yeah. her face fell off when she was taking her wig off. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? You're taking yeah. your wig off and suddenly your face is gone. Yeah. Ugh, if I had a nickel. I think the boulets are giving her a pass early on because she is legendary. I think they are being a little easier on her yeah. for that reason. Then we had Fantasia. She did surgery. She did okay. surgery. She did I surgery. felt like it was kind of a safe, but it was really good. It's kind of a safe just because like that's her story. Big titties, nose job, like, okay. I really enjoyed her face though. I really enjoyed the way she acted the fuck out with her yeah. face. She's a performer. She's fun to watch. Yeah. Then we had Cynthia Doll. Cynthia Doll. Now her trash was meth. Was somebody on meth? So yeah. white trash. I don't know if you've heard that. If anyone was gonna get ready in a porta potty, this was the perfect person to do it. Like if your look yeah. is you're all methed out, sure, go for it, babe. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah. What was her act of filth? I honestly don't remember. I thought it was interesting that the Boulay's note about this look was like, you walk a fine line with addiction, so like keep an eye on that. Yeah. I honestly, props. Yeah. I really respected that. And it was done respectfully and you know, I thought it was yeah. great. But yeah. But yeah, once you look at her, it's, it's like what they were saying with like, when you look to your left and your right, it's not, it's not kind of lining up with everyone else. And her look last week was so incredible. Like oh this yeah. This was just kind of a letdown. Yeah. Okay. Then we have Jarvis, Jarvis Hammer. As a sperm. Was a sperm with ghost. With a giant cock. With a giant cock and like piss stains everywhere. I loved it. Listen, sperm is not always white. Okay. Oh it no. It comes yeah. out in very different sometimes colors. Sometimes it's watery. Sometimes it's. Sometimes it's yellow. Sometimes there's got tinges of yellow. Sometimes it's tea stained. Sometimes there's blood. And listen. That's, all of it is okay. Okay, if you would like to send her to a doctor, please donate to IMHO The Show on Finmo. I want you to see somebody. <laughs> I really do. Richard? I don't want you to die. That's the nice I know that I don't give ever... off that vibe, but <laughs> yeah. I just want to make clear. I want you to live. This was really funny. I really enjoyed it. I liked it, it too. Okay, here's another one that made me... Neohuru X. What the fuck? But Excuse me. This was incredible. First of all, as they're explaining their look in the workroom or what, or in the long table room, she was like, "I'm not trying to please the present. I'm showing you the future." I have chills. I had to think first. I was like, "Okay." They 3D print and they work with silicone, so they are by what they said, they are sex addicted spider. Pussy. Per, pussy. Spider pussy. So there's a pussy for a mouth, a pussy in the pregnant belly. A spider eyes. So good. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't trash, trash can, can child, children, but, but this look will go down in Dragula history. Yeah. I'm sorry. This was incredible. And it really made me. And it was me, so gross. It made me gag. They had a vibrator. So they're like jerking off their pussy on their pregnant belly. I didn't see that. I Hilarious. I like honestly funny. couldn't watch the whole thing. <laughs> Okay, this is a perfect time to talk about this. Like I said before, Landon Cider, perfection. What an amazing drag king and so fucking nice. But their notes as a judge, I found so exhausting. For this They're look- They're pretty detail oriented. Right. Yeah, I didn't like that. You ever had a Krispy Kreme? Was it crispy? Right. Their note about this look was, you know, spiders don't get stuck in their webs. So you didn't need the spider webs. 
Okay. What I love is that the Boulets are living for it. And they're like, okay, National Geographic. <laughs> I didn't mind it. I, I thought just, it was fine. I mean, she's not like... It bugged me. He's not like... Super funny. I guess I'm appreciative of the details rather than trying to be funny. I mean, he did say being detail oriented won me the crown. Yeah. And I think that kind of helped contextualize the notes. I just was, I don't know. I was like, well, it's fine. Yeah. Let it go, babe. Can we had Satana. I completely forgot about Satana. I liked her makeup this time. I liked that there was clearly yeah. horror. It's the first time we've seen like scary from her. Yeah. Was she eating tampons? What was she eating? Her filth was like, was it tampons? I don't, I couldn't see. Don't eat them. You're not supposed to eat them. Just FYI. It's fine. Safe. Ooh. All right. We get him. What a disgusting floor what show that What a disgusting floor show. I really couldn't watch the whole thing. It was no, gross. No, 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 no. But um, we do get a winner and it's Throb Zombie. Yes, well done. So. Yeah. It was just so garbage pail or trash can children. Trash can child. Yeah. That was a child in a trash can for sure. And then we find out the bottom two are Cynthia and Onyx. Yeah. Not really surprised by that. No. Then they go back to the boudoir. Onyx <laughs> brought the leg in and did Naviva. Yes! The only thing fake Big about me, me is, is this. this! And then JK and Cynthia get into it. I thought it was really odd at the moment, but I really appreciated it later. Throb Zombie is like, JK, just walk away. Like, yeah, JK, just, maybe just stop Just talking. walk away. And Throb did it for a really good reason of like, I just keep seeing them turn everyone off and then say like, I don't have any friends. Props to Throb. That was really nice. And as Throb is trying to talk JK down, they're all talking about how JK should have been in the bottom. As Throb's I think they're like, all just pissed don't take the JK bait, came don't back. take the bait. And then they're all like, I thought JK would be in the bottom. <laughs> yeah. I hope that we can move on from this. I really do. Well, because you know what? You know what can happen sometimes with that? is sometimes I feel like producers or whatever shows keep people on because everyone else hates them. Yeah, that's true. The bottom two are going to have to move maggots and worms move with their mouths. maggots and worms from a pan to a beaker. The most I didn't, fear factor shit I could ever seen. I don't think fear I could factor? do that. Oh, that's yeah. the reason we have Joe Rogan, y'all. Fucking fear factor. Now that's the biggest have, fear. That's the scary thing to come out of that. He should have stayed fear factor. Yeah, they should lock him in one of those rooms filled with bugs or whatever. Anyway, so we get fear factor and it was so gross. It was, it was so, so gross. gross. My high mind as I was watching it, I paused it and I was like, Curtis, don't you think it's crazy? <laughs> that all of those maggots and like worms, that's like their body, right? And they're alive. And we said as a species, we want a funny entertainment thing. So we're just gonna fuck with their bodies and put their bodies in our mouths and then spit their bodies to the ground. That's so fucked up. Isn't that why? I knew, that's when I knew I was high. Actually, I just finished one of my key dramas, Mystic Pop-Up Bar. A lot of it is about reincarnation, so I think that's where my brain was. But oh, I was yeah. tripping out. I was like, we're using those bodies. I mean, if I saw them in real life, I'd step on them, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> it was gross. Then we find out that Onyx is in fact going to die and we go back to the Chucky at the beginning. What I loved is that they picked three of the looks. Yeah, that's hot. Like, and turned them into the I dolls. I would say the top three and they turned them into dolls and the dolls killed Onyx. And those Onyx. dolls were so cute. Those were so good. I loved it. And so they kill Onyx, which I loved because Onyx got to like wrestle with the doll. And that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. So goodbye, Onyx. I hope you learn who you are. Yeah. I really like your face. Yeah, me too. All right. Well, we'll be back next week with more disgusting things. If you'd like to be grossed out with us, hit the subscribe button, but of course, the bell notification. Join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash IMHO, the show, if you know what's good for you. Also, we're both on Cameo. You can also get a Shamio by going to IMHO, the show.com. All of our drag merch, drag queen merch.com. Drag queen merch.com. I'm going to drink some more of this garbage juice. Yeah. Drink up those chitlins. Have you ever had chitlins? Um, I don't think so. Really? From the South? Maybe I have. I don't know. Who knows what's been in my mouth? Oh my God. Do you want to hear something fucking insane? Yeah. This blew my mind. Okay, hear me out. You know the brother-sister duo that I love, Lawrence? Yeah. From TikTok. Don't lose sight, baby, don't lose sight. Yeah. They're opening for the Jonas Brothers right now, or they just did. I don't fucking know. Anyway, I didn't know a lot about them. I just knew that they were both incredibly talented, and I was like, ooh, what a family. It was giving very Carpenter's vibe. You know what I mean? Okay. I saw a clip today on TikTok from one of their, like, interviews. Disappointing news, they're Nepo babies. 
That's Which is just kind of how the world works. Who cares? You but know what? I if care. I could be a nipple baby, I would. I care though because I was like, oh, these two brother, like this brother and sister, are so talented that they just like blew up. But that's not how the world works. So anyway, it's fine. But they are talented at least. They are. Their dad is like a writer director and has like directed a bunch of movies. Stephen King. Yes, Stephen King, the famous movie director. I guess their dad. I don't know if he wrote on it or directed it, but he worked on Miss Congeniality. Oh. And this kid, the brother, was like a kid prodigy. Like he was like a musical genius. I saw this. Yes. So at five years old, he wrote. You wanted a million. No. He wrote what William Shatner sings. She's beauty. She's, she's grace. grace. She's Miss she's United, United States. States. A five-year-old wrote that. A five-year-old. And William Shatner sang. That blew my mind. That blew my mind. A five-year-old. I, AI can't do that. I actually, I wrote a song when I was four. What was it? It was, have you ever seen um, Les Miserables? Mm -hmm. There's a song in that movie. Oh, the movie version. And the song goes, I shaved my head when time's gone by. So I wrote that one. And I gave it to um, a Bobel and Schomburg. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I sent it to them when I was four. Back then we were using floppy dicks. dicks. Mm -hmm. So she wrote I, it on a really floppy dick. I wrote it on a really floppy dick. Yeah. Very small handwriting. When I was four, I had tiny hands. Yeah. And um, they were driving by and I, I threw it in their car. And you know, I never got any, I never got any royalties. I was just happy to kind of contribute something to the, um, to the world. Now I've seen that show. I dream a dream and time gone by. You know. Yeah, I've seen that show and that is definitely not in it. The lyrics that you said. Also. Well, I was you, four. If you were four and you wrote something for the musical. Yeah. How old would you be now? Nine. D. Nine D. Correct. No, no, no. Les Miserables. Les Miserables. Mm -hmm. 89. You, you'd be in your 40s. 1989. No. When, when I was four, it was 1989, and that's when they, they so they they didn't write it till much later. I think they wrote it in like 94. And I don't expect any royalties. I don't expect any. Good. So you won't it's get just any. nice. To, it's just nice to have contributed something to the musical landscape. Are you the reason Russell Crowe sang? Fuck you, bitch. No, no, I, no, no, no. I'm not the reason Russell Crowe sang. I am the reason he was bad, because I was his voice coach during time yeah and i told him you were drinking a lot. i told him well i was drinking my garbage juice a lot yeah listen then. if you want to my vocal coach juice. russell crowe do not drink garbage well it's because all the oils help slick the throat not garbage i'm sorry trash and thank you mm -hmm. all right we'll see you next week goodbye bye russell <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching